The following screencast will walk you through how to leverage Canvas's web dashboard to make it easier for you to find your student. The first suggestion um, that we're going to take a look at is really based on a parent of two students. Uh, one of the things that we can always see is the current enrollment of courses down here where it says uh, 2016 to 17 US. In this case, this parent has uh, two students in the upper school. If you had a student in the middle school or upper school, it would be a quick way to differentiate who's in whose class. The other way to do so, of course, is just to sit down next to your student and ask them. But one of the things I do know is that this parent has a student, uh, Lewis, uh, who will graduate in year 2018 and so is taking upperclassmen uh, courses. And one of those first courses is AP Euro with uh, Dr. Helmbeck Wilson. And so one of the things I'm going to uh, show you how to do is go ahead and use the nickname feature and change the name of the course. So I've gone ahead and I select that little edit button and I know this is Lewis's course and I can even give it the same uh, name if I so want to. AP Euro. And then the second thing that I would do is I would associate color tones if I have two students. Um, I have an unlimited palette of cones if I know HTML, but I'm just going to say um, blues and greens are going to be associated with Lewis and the second student, Sophia. I'm going to associate um, reds and oranges and yellows. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. And I'll notice that biology, I have a sense that this is Sophia's. And I'm going to go ahead and associate yellows and orange tones. I'm going to go ahead and complete this uh, for all of the following courses. And then um, I'll show you um, how it'll be easier to flip uh, calendars on and off in the calendar view. So you'll notice I've gone ahead and I've named all of the courses with the student's first name. And now when I go ahead and I select on calendar, One of the uh, tools I recommend using is the agenda view. And the next thing that I would recommend doing is turning off personal calendars and not using the personal calendar uh, for the parent. Because uh, unfortunately, at this particular time in fall of 2016, Canvas limits the number of calendars to 20 uh, to 10. And so in this case, um, I just want to be really selective out of those 10, which ones do I want to turn on? You can see I've been able to turn all of them on except for one. And you'll notice then um, all of the colors then associate uh, accordingly uh, with um, the students. Um, it's the best solution for a, a system that isn't currently designed for um, students with observers or parents with multiple students. Um, I hope that's uh, helpful.